Well, Dave, you've settled for a point today. Uh, did you have enough in the tank to win it, though, today? Are you disappointed? I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm always disappointed when we haven't, haven't won. Um, but probably didn't do enough to win. Um, had opportunities, but did, like it didn't didn't do uh, enough to be convincing winners, which if I'm going to sit here and say we deserve to win, I'd, I'd suggest it would be um, deserved con um, convincing winners, which wasn't the case. First 15 minutes cost us the game. Um, because you can argue that we get back in it on 30 minutes um, and you'll have an hour to go and win the game. But we didn't do enough in that hour, so I was, like I say, really unhappy with everything about our first 15 minute performance, regardless of what Harry did. Because we spoke about having to organise and communicate and, um, and be technically good to play through them because we thought they'd be pretty compact and we'd have them opportunities we were none of those three um and on the back of that our intensity was miles off it. um to be fair to them 20 25 minutes we improved um got the goal and, and then the game took the sort of path i thought it, it would in terms of what it would what it would look like um with us having possession but them looking at a threat uh, a threat on the counter yes. with what they have going the, going the other way um, and that like I say proved to be the case but we didn't didn't quite do enough to uh, to get ourselves three points so you've got to you got to I suppose take that one on the chin be better next week and, and try and go with three Were the moments in the game you felt you were trying to be too intricate maybe trying to walk the ball in at times today you just ask the players that um, again if that's what is uh, perceived, then it's not what they're told to do. Because let's be clear, um, black and white, we're a pretty, we're a pretty basic team. We score from a lot of crosses. We score from bodies being forward in the box. We score from shots, but we score from the middle of the the middle of the goal more often than not. Um, there were, in my opinion, wrong decisions taken in in, in the final third. Whether that was shoot when you should be passing or pass when you should be shooting um, there was definitely there was definitely that um, there was times when again the, the 93rd minute of the game Ethan's down this side Paddy's down this south putting across in the box we've got no one in the box you've got to go and you got to go and work in them moments to when you've played in some instances 90 minutes in some instances less to really break your yeah. proverbials to get yourself between this between the sticks and because yeah. we put good balls in and Harry have defended them well but have they defended them well under duress when we've got bodies in there and we're asking them questions? No, I don't think they had to. So that's a, I see something we need to we need to look at. Um, but sometimes you just have to go. We set the bar really high last week. I think we lowered that this week. Um, it's a different challenge when you when you're here. A different challenge than, than it is away from home. Um, and you take your point and and move on. You laid a challenge down for, for Conor Lea, and Lea Evans when he came back, saying you've not seen the best of him so far. <coughs> but he's been a bonus, hasn't he, since coming back? Almost like a new signing now. And he's got his goal as well today, which helps. Yeah, he's, he's, he's goal involvement in the last three games has been, yeah. has been great. Um, and that was always something that Conor, over the course of his career, has, has thrived upon. Um, and we've not seen it enough here. So... Um, Bonus, um, yeah, unsure, but listen, he's, he was our player and we had him away, away getting him himself games, if you like, in order to hopefully get him in this type of form. We didn't know whether whether we'd need him or not, but there was always the, the, the case that um, if he went away and scored a, a bag full of goals, just as would have been the Kemp with um, Dan Kemp, who was at Swindon, and MK Don's recall him, and Jake Young, who was at Swindon, and, and Bradford recall him. If someone's doing well when they're out on loan, they can, help, they can benefit your team and um, and improve your chances of, of achieving your objectives, then we're always going to act upon that, and, and we did. Um, and I say his, his, his involvement in the last three games has been has been terrific, uh, and hopefully that continues. I've got to ask you about Macaulay South and Hales. Is, it looks to be the knee, and it looks a bad one as well. Yeah, I, I, I'd be speculating. Um, by saying what it was because we don't know so he's gone to hospital he'll be x-rayed but i don't think that tells us anything so he'll be, he'll be scanned Scanning. it doesn't look a, it doesn't look a good one um there's no sort of assessment pitch side he didn't feel anything and then within 
a minute, ninety seconds, he's 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 in real 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 pain. Um, it, it's a knee, yeah. Um, it could potentially be a dislocation or a rupture of some some description. But I, like I say, I'm speculating. Um, I'm normally sat or stood sat here, um, expecting or thinking the best and hoping it's not the worst. I think the case in this scenario is that it looks a, it looks a bad one. Um, it looks months rather than weeks, um, and we'll we'll know more in 24, 48 hours. But like I say, all our thoughts are with him at the moment. Um, I suppose from our side of things, we you have to prepare for those types of things. And the unfortunate bit in, in Macca's career really is these things have come back and yeah. have haunted him throughout. Um, which I say for him as a as a lad because he's, he's brilliant is is really really disappointing. Um, and we'll all I say we'll all get round him. He'll be. He'll be low without question, um, but we'll get him through. Groom to be away next week. Uh, a good week with prepara preparation, no doubt. Uh, you, you, you've got planned Grimsby. Strange side. They've been conceding a lot of goals, but they've they've shored up today and got a nil nil today at Accrington. So uh, maybe they've they've turned a corner. Yeah, and listen, Dave's gone in there and different ideas, and they've obviously yeah. made they've made a change. They've they've brought in some players. They're trying to. I suppose evolve their their style in terms of how they go about it. Different managers having different ideas. So, again, have have gone from a team that was I suppose up and up and at them and, and pretty sort of counter pressy to a more yeah. possession based. Um, we've had a little bit of a look at them, but we'll have a look at them more over over this coming week and go there in order to try and put a plan together to to, to win the game. It's a tough place to go, as we know. Um, but looking forward to it. Um, we haven't got a great record there, so. We'll, Probably says yes that we um, we definitely we definitely owe them something. Fantastic, well done today. Cheers, Dave. Thank Cheers, you. Tom. Thank you. Tom.